The news came late Thursday evening that the diplomat, former head of the public service turned political commentator, Reginald Dumas, had died. His daughter Sonia was with him. She disclosed that they spent the previous evening listening to jazz. She read him the papers and they spoke about carnival and starving kangaroos at the zoo. She thanked those who donated blood and the specialist at Scarborough General for his care. And then she asked for privacy for the family to grieve. His public service began in the 1950s with his first posting to Trinidad and Tobago's embassy in Washington, eventually ascending to the position of ambassador, permanent representative to the OAS, former head of the public service and dutiful political commentator. Senior counsel Martin Daly described him as one of those extremely rare persons whose personality was not warped either by the powerful functions he performed in public life or his laser-like intellect. There's some words that come to mind when you think of Reginald Dumas. Integrity, uh, patriotism, loyalty to country, and not afraid to stand up to what he perceived as wrongs in society of persons not working in the interest of Trinidad and Tobago. The tributes to Mr. Dumas crossed the political flow. Mr. Dumas has been an encyclopedia of knowledge on public administration and the workings of the public service. Um, he has been quite an authority on that. The Foreign Affairs Minister says his contribution to Trinidad and Tobago must be cherished. But the most heartfelt tribute came from his dear friend, criminologist Dr. Ramesh Deusaran, who lamented that they weren't able to meet for lunch as planned. Goodbye, my friend, Reggie. May, may you rest in peace. Sweeney Gray, CNT3 News.